This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis' second most ostentatious yacht. Multiple fatalities in the Gulf. Shoot and Lands need work. I've a cephalobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke.
unsuccessful shark on Look for Clovis. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout. But being reckless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their decisions. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition.
This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. every summer to study the reefs. <laughs> Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet.
The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bone. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Man's tendency to anthropomorphize them into lovable cartoon characters goaded by lusty appetites. The shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers' eternally wise lobbyists. Well, that kinda sucks. The battle is over, but the war goes on. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Giant monsters, or kaiju, 
occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile cities. In the kill-or-be-killed world of the sea, performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Cetacean Assassin, the Sperm Whale. practically ran on sperm whale. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermacity.
given the number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human urine finds its way to the sea. Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, I'm the most sane man you ever seen. No, I didn't get it easy. But when some, some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you do. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got hunger on! We serve a shark ain't to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? See, I can't prepare today. Oh, I'ma fix you up real pretty. Getting y'all out swim a torpedo.
me with a torpedo! Ah! <laughs> 